Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother Muhammad Ruke for all. Um, today, Bismillah Azawajal, what we're trying to do is to um, to go to some of the questions that have been posted in the group or asked in the group, and then um, somehow they were not answered because um, due to I was busy and um, and also maybe due to lack of time and um, also due to some of these questions really need to be explained in details okay so um, you will you will see that some questions um, I really like to answer them but it's more like these are questions which is not like a, like a shortcut something like that you know you just don't go and try to answer them in the briefly you have to i like answering questions in in great details somehow because there are so many things that can be learned from it as well you know we will start from the question um because when i made the post about the question answers that we'll be having soon um this is abu muawiyah a salafi he says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sir Please, can we bat with cedric water that we have read through here into it inside toilet or bathroom? Um, yes, brother, this is something that I myself personally, I have asked my sheikh about this, the one who teach me fiqh and um, some of this kutub of uh, al-almiyah, that say, can we shower with the Quranic water in the, in the, in the, in the bathroom? He said, you have to know that the hukum of the Quranic water and the hukum of the actual mashaf of the Quran, it is different, okay? Like the woman who is menstruating, like first of all, because I also, alhamdulillah, I also do teach Quran as well. So, you see, sometimes our students who are like, imagine like a female student that is menstruating and then she is going, going on the hill. She needs to do rev like muraja, like revision, in order for her not to forget, you know, the 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 the, the lesson or the durus that she is in. So that kind of a person can she read the Quran but not touching the actual mushaf. So this is something that the scholars have talked about, you know, like the contemporary scholars as well. Even in the fact of the legend of Daim, the one in the in the Saudiya like the scholars have talked about it like she can use like the mobile phone or the tablet because that is not considered to be the actual must have itself because there is like a screen and all these things so she can use that to make a revision to revise but she should not touch the actual must have the camel itself she should not do that but she can read of head or use it from the tablet so you see the exception here so this is also this is different. Like we read on the Quranic, we read on the water, we blow on it. But that doesn't make it the actual must have the Quran itself to have the same ruling of the Quran. So she can shower with it if she is menstruating. Okay. Because many a times the, the women, they become vulnerable, some of them, when they are menstruating. So the jeans kind of try to attack them even more when they are menstruating. They become more vulnerable. So in that case, if she knows that, then she can shower with it, bismillah azawajal. If she feels that she is sick and then she needs to shower with it because that's going to help her come over this fight that she is in. And the jinns, they like to take advantage during your weakest points and all. So they shouldn't be given those chances. Okay? Okay, this is something that also one of my sheikh, mashallah, Muhammad Tim Humbul, I don't know if you guys do know him as well. You know, I have been following him for a long time, long time, ever since in... I was in Mauritania, alhamdulillah. This is his website also, you know, muhammadtimhumble.com, Rukia, the seven-day Rukia detox program, bismillah. I will also try to put the link there, inshallah, after this session, bismillah. You know, about the two most commonly asked questions since I posted this article, are, as Muhammad Tim Humble said, can a lady do this program when she is menstruating, like the Rukia program? Can a lady do it? Can like, you know, sometimes you you, you want to do Rukia on a lady or you want to, they want to start the Rukia program, the showering and everything. And now they are saying like, okay, since she's going through menstruation, so can she do it? Or she have to wait until she become pure to start. So what needs to be done? It says that the answer is that it depends on her needs. 
Oh no. Come on, stop. Okay, good. So, sorry, that was an income call, right? So it was like the answer depends on her need. If she is able to delay the program until after the time of menstruation, then perhaps that is better. So that's what they say, say here. If she can delay the program, if she can delay the program and wait until she is fine, she is pure, then that's fine. So he said that um, it depends on her need. If she is able to delay the program until after the time of menstruation, then perhaps that is better. This is better. However, if she can't wait, then there is no specific reason to prevent her from doing so. And she should avoid the areas where there is menstrual blood. So this is what it's, he also said here. Like if a lady is going through menstruation and all, and then if she can wait until she become pure and to, to continue her treatment, that's fine. But also if she is like, you know what, she want to do the treatment, then there is no reason to say that there is no dalil to say that no, you cannot do the treatment because there is a dalil, blah blah blah, because you can do it. This is chronic water and all. But however, this say, says that also that um she should avoid the areas where there is menstrual blood. We all know what that means. Or we don't know what that means. Like you showering with the chronic water, you know, you avoid where the menstrual blood is, the private area and all. Okay, the other thing is, is it, isn't it forbidden to use rookia water in the bath? Like the brother asks, which I'm going through the answer. It says that, the answer is that this was the opinion of some of the students of knowledge. <laughs> like the student of knowledge, this is some of their opinion. Like me at the initial stage, the beginning, I used to be like, yeah, don't shower in the toilet, you know. So you have to shower at the open area or the... You know, just at the back, you know, of your, you know, just like, like any place that you believe that is kind of secluded and private that, you know, you can shower with it and you'll be covered and all people wouldn't have to look at you and all you can shower with it, you know, but that used to be very difficult. Subhanallah, you know, some people, they don't have that kind of areas, you know, the only place that they feel like they can shower is the toilet. And then now if you tell them this, you know, it becomes a problem now. So what do what do these kind of people need to do? Like before also, I used to say, okay, shower in a big basin and dispose the water. So where are you going to even dispose the water? Are you going to dispose the water outside? Don't dispose the water through a running canal or some like a, some somewhere that people are going to have to walk and then you're disturbing them and all. And that becomes a sin for you. Don't do that. So what do you even have to do? You see, that was very difficult. Sometimes I'd be like, okay, just put a towel on uh, down and then shower, shower on it. And then, you know, you kind of squeeze it outside and all. Or shower in, just shower in your room like a little splash. And then you can then wipe the mop the area and all. So finally, this is very difficult. You read Allah become a lusur, wala you read become a usur. Allah wants what is easy for you, not what is difficult for you. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, la tu sadidu ala anfusikum, fa yasadidu Allah alaykum. Do not make things difficult for yourself, otherwise Allah will make it difficult for you. So, a din yusur wala sabi usur. The din is easy, not difficult. So this doesn't have to be complicated at all. At the end of the day, you are doing shifa. This is a treatment you're doing. And then you also, you have to know that al-aslu fil ashya al-mubaha. You have to know that the asul of the things is just, is, is, is permissibility. Like it's permissible until it is proven that this is haram. Okay. So you have to bring your evidence. If you say this is haram, bring the lil to prove that what you, this is something haram. And bismillah So what they say is saying, we don't have the lil for this to prohibit it. I ask myself personally, this is what he tells me. He says that, the ruling of this Quranic water and the actual mushaf is not the same. The actual mushaf, you should not touch it when you are menstruating or not pure and all these things. So let's continue. He says that uh, this is the opinion of some of the students of knowledge. We say that there is no evidence for this prohibition. If Rukia water had the same ruling as the Quran, it will not be permissible to drink it or to put it on the body or to bat with it. We ask the same discretion. And he confirmed that there is no reason to treat Rukia water like the Quran. 
and this is his say that they're talking about i'm seeing something like this he said the rookie the program is recommended by our say adil ibn tahir al muqbil may allah protect him and preserve him amen so these are scholars these are shuyukh masayikh you know so anyway let's continue with the question answers that part is is clarified i hope like the rookie water can be shower in the bathroom if that is the place you have but if you have like other place which is not the bathroom which is comfortable you can shower no problem then you're welcome like i used to tell some people alhamdulillah and a woman also that is menstruating and you know that if you don't shower like at the moment you're vulnerable you are sick and you need to shower with the quran to cool off because alhamdulillah there's a special effect in when you shower with the sidr water the quran you know it cools you off especially those having heat in their body they're weak the genies try to grip them and all these things they feel like something have tied them you know bundle them together like they are in bondage so when you shower with this alhamdulillah it kind of losing all of that that's why this will destroy black magic if it is attached to you like the string of the black magic being attached to you from wherever they put it in the grave in the lizard subhanallah i came across that not very long they put black magic on the lizard and all these things so this will destroy the court the invincible court of the black magic through you and you'll be set free bismillah i mean so the lady also in her pain and all these things she can shower with the chronic water but as the sheikh says she should avoid the place whereby the blood of the menstruation is and that's the private area so but she can shower with it if she feel like she's fine she just you know very soon her period can finish she can wait also if that's what's okay and then when her period is fine when her period is finished then she can start using the program and showering and all so that's how we want to summarize it if you have a place which is not the bathroom you can shower there and that's that's fine if you don't have any place other than the bathroom you can shower allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and the intentions and everything i mean the other one say anana mustafa isa say what's the meaning of incense method yeah the incense method is more like the smoke the smoking method like the these are certain combination of things like we mentioned the asofatida you know mix with the black seed and the mix with the indian costus powder all of this and then we read on it and we put it on the fire or the hot cold to make a smoke out of it and you inhale this is going to suffocate the genie in you mashallah i have seen a great tremendous benefit in this thing the incense method i have done there was a time for me, I have noticed this. Sometimes you do rukia and the jinn is kind of stubborn. And you have to keep doing rukia until they become weak and then they will give up. But the incense method is quick, it's very fast. You do the incense method on this person afflicted with jinn. You cover them, you know, you cover the entire head and then they inhale, they, they start in, um, inhaling the incense. SubhanAllah, the jinn go crazy. It's like, I'm going to leave, you're suffocating me. I feel like I'm going to die. The incense method is a very, 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 very effective method. You know, I only wish that people will know about it more so that they can start using it. And all this problem will be finished business as a way job, you know. So the incense method is like the smoking method that we use to remove any kind of genes that are in the body or they are air. So they, there are so many benefits with the incense method, you know, which you can just check out the incense method, inshallah, is mentioned. So somebody, you're always tired, you're always fatigued, you know, you feel like your body's in pain, you can't sleep at night, you feel like something is in you, like a position. When you do this incense method, it's like you're suffocating the gene inside you, and the gene cannot have any other choice but to leave, okay? Because she, he can't or she can't be there when you're trying to do this incense method, at least twice in the day, morning and evening, you know, because this is like you're trying to suffocate them, you, you know? You're trying to fumigate them. So it's like a pest. You fumigate the house and they die. Salamatu say, when she, okay, she asked the question. When I started using the Quranic water with, with Sidir, Alhamdulillah, I feel light and even started doing some house chores. Alhamdulillah. But some days now they are attacking me a lot and I can't do anything. I don't understand why and don't me to and why and don't want me to eat. Hmm. Salamatu, uh, it is true. The sidri water is good. 
That was one of my patients also, like, subhanAllah, he was very sick. These genes will make someone very sick. Come on. These genes will make you have, you will, you will go to the hospital and they will say you have high blood, hypertension, diabetes, all these things, they, whatever they call it, your blood is high and all these things. Or like pneumonia, or you kind of feel like you have malaria. The genes are very good in this, even cancer. So when you go testing, they can mention all the sickness for you. The doctors can say, you have diabetes, you have high blood, you have, um, you have pneumonia, you have malaria, you have all these things. But this can be genes. When they are in your body, they messed up your internal systems, your organs and all. You know, the, the blood is going up and down and doctors cannot understand, you know, doctors cannot understand what is really going on. So it becomes a big, big, big problem. Alhamdulillah, after we start doing the treatment, the ruqya and the, the siddhir water and everything, mashallah, she becomes she become normal. It is true, she was having asic gene. She was having asic gene because when I did the ruqya, the gene came and said, I loved her. I say, are you the one making her sick and all? She said, the, the gene said, yes, I'm, I was the one making her sick and all. I said, then you have to leave. Alhamdulillah, she's, she was fine. She started doing her chores. And long time, she haven't been able to do that. This is what the genes do. When they possess you, they make you paralyzed. They make your body numb. You can't do anything and all these things, especially when they put the high, when they put their dark energy inside you and feel it in, inside you, you can't be able to do anything. you weak. And then you start becoming paralyzed slowly and slowly. Your body starts becoming numb. They will be saying it's diabetes, blah, blah, blah. Whilst it is the gene. Once the gene is kicked out, you will see that you'll be fine. Everything will, back, will be back to normal. When you go for testing, they will say you okay. One of my patients also the same thing. She was having gin, acid gin as well. Subhanallah. Many women, they have acid gin, subhanallah. If I was to percentage, it's out of 100. It's more like 80% of all possession, subhanallah. It's like acid gin, acid gin, acid gin, or let's say 75. No, let's say 60. Acid gin, then black magic can be like maybe... 30, you know, then 90, then the remaining 10, then you have maybe revenge gin and gin coming because of evil eye and all. <laughs> so, as a gin is a lot of problem. So the doctors were saying, you have high blood, you have this, you have that. And after we have rookie session, alhamdulillah, the gene gone and all. She so went for testing. The doctor say, you fine. You don't have high blood. You don't have this. You don't have that. So the genes, they cause it as well. This is why I'm trying to tell people, not every sickness is natural like that. Some sickness is gene. That's why if you're, if you're, if you're going, if you're sick, and then this kind of sick, sickness is just persisting and it wouldn't stop. No matter how hard you try, no matter how long you take medicines, medicine like modern medicine and all going to hospital and you see that still you are not recovering things are not improving try rookie method try rookie method because sometimes it's not normal it's genes or black magic and all so you have to go and do rukia and when you do rukia you will find out bismillah that there was a gene in you inshallah and this gene will confess that yes i'm the reason why i'm making her sick and all these things and then when the gene is gone you will be fine so, sister, I will say you have to continue doing the Rukia treatment, listen to the Rukia audio, or if you have a Raqi, you can read on you, because that's the best option. If you have a Raqi that can read, read on you, it's a good Raqi, alhamdulillah, then when this Raqi catch the jinn, then the jinn can leave, bismillah, okay? If there is no Raqi, then, then you can listen to Rukia audios, even there is a Raqi, because some Raqi, they will, they will charge you per session and all, and you might not have the money for all those sessions. So that's why I like to send people the rookie audio so that they can be listing it because the rookie audio, to be honest, have been beneficial to many, 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 many people. Alhamdulillah, I've received very good um, feedbacks about it. So you can keep doing what you're doing. If you have, if you want to have rookie direct session, that will be best. So that if this is a genie in you, they can, it can be, you know, punished with the Quran and leave. And you can do the incense method and all the method, methods we have mentioned, okay? The lotion method, the incense method, every method that is mentioned, do it, bismillah. These are very good methods. And then the jinn will try to frustrate you and all. You can try to do jinn, 
like the dream catching or the dream killing method also for any kind of gene disturbing you in your life, whether it's external gene, internal gene, internal gene trying to make you sick and all, external gene trying to ruin your life because of black magic and all, sometimes they do it. All the gene can call one of the, the family, you know, or the friend to come and help and assist. So they will be like the united force for you. And also you have to be very strong, sister. You can do Rukia, make Dua, make Yamulail, you know, make the dream catching and all so that you can catch them. And when you see them in the dream, beat them or read Ayatul Kursi and all these things, inshallah. And then you will defeat them, Bismillah. Because the jinns, they like the persist and all, but you be the dominant one. You will be the dominant one. The, the disbeliever never win against the Muslim. The disbeliever will never trump um, over the Muslim. The Muslim will win all the time. Okay? Allah will not humiliate the Muslim for the disbeliever. So you have to stay strong. Salam, brother. This one, Aisha Yakubu say, Salam, brother. Please, what will I use for my kids to make them more intelligent? Um, Aisha Yakubu, some of the scholars before they said that raisin, which is dry, dried grape, is something very effective as well. They can eat that a lot. That's good. And then um, black seed and the honey is also good, especially honey also. It is good. And I have heard about the, the Frankenstein, the Luban, like something like that also, inhaling it and all, you know. But the Quran is the best, you know. Imam Shafi, rahmatullah alayhi, he went to his Shaykh Waqi', you know, to give his, to, 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 for his lesson, you know. So he was, it was, it, he, but according to what he said, they say that he saw like a, a woman like in a certain in a certain um in a certain way that like like the aura of a woman was exposed and Imam Shafi saw it, you know, like maybe in, in, in unintentionally. Sometimes you're just walking down the road and then you throw your eye and you see something you don't wanna see. SubhanAllah. And Imam Shafi, mashallah, Allah have blessed him, you know, like a like a photographic memory. Or you can call it an encyclopedia. Mashallah, Allah bless him when it comes to the to memorization. So he went to his say it was difficult for him to like kind of revise the lessons and all. The Sheikh say, What happened to you today? He explained to him, then that's why Imam Shafi mentioned in his bite, he said, to ila waqi, so he far suddenly ila tarkil ma'asi wa akbarani bi anal ilma nurun. So look at here. Knowledge, he said that I went to work okay, myself to complain about my, like, the worst of memorizing from him. Now, memorizing is becoming difficult from him, Imam Shafi'i. His troubles of memorizing, difficulties in it. So, the Imam, my, the Waqi, the Sheikh, he tells him, he guided him to leave sin. He said that knowledge is a light. So, knowledge is a light. Advise your kids to stop listening to music, watching movies, all this things that is haram, okay, to concentrate on deen and to be praying on time and reading the Quran. Allah bless them with noor and they will be making too much zikr, bismillah, and everything will be fine. So the noor of Allah will not be put in the heart of the, the sinful. So you're making sin all the time and there is a black spot going through your heart, all these things, and it will cover your heart in darkness. So you want the light. You have to do righteousness and then this, this dark spot will go and then there will be light. Okay. So you have to make sure that you advise them to be very close to Islam. Bismillah. Salam. I, uh, this is Abiyad Van. Okay. He says, Salam, I have a daughter that is hooked on wheat. What can I use on her? Anyway, this is Rukia platform. Um, SubhanAllah. Okay. Uh, don't be offended. There's something I want to say. Sometimes you will see that some people, they will think that there's something we can do about some of the things happening. This is, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the hearts. Allah is in control of things. Like somebody is a non-believer. It's like, what can I do to make her become Muslim? Can I give her a Quranic word to make her become Muslim? And this, this is something which is not within our control. This is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who guides. Okay? He's the only one that guides the heart, so the heart is in the finger of Allah. He changed it as He wish. So, 
That's why I make the dua. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qulub, thabbit qulubana ala deenik. Wa ya muthabbit al-qulub, thabbit qulubana ala ta'atik. The one who changes heart, you know, firm our heart on your, thabbit qulubana ala deenik. You know, steadfast our heart on your deen. And the one who steadfast the heart, make our heart to follow your, like, to be, to be obedient. So we have to make dua. We make dua for them as well. Bismillah Azza wa Jal. This is something we cannot do. This is something like the black magicians will try to do. I can make your kid to stop smoking. And now they make khatam. They send the jinn. The jinn is going to possess your, your son or your daughter. And then this jinn is going to try to make the black, uh, make weed and all these things, you know, hateful to her. And then she will stop. And they will be like, yeah, I went to so and so. You know, when I was going through stuff with my son and daughter, now they have stopped. This guy is great. You don't know that your daughter is possessed now. There's a gene in him or her trying to make her stop those things. And then he's going to harm her. Because when the gene possess a person, they will always be complaining about sickness, the body is hot and all. Just like two, uh, just like when the, when the, when the, um, when one of the spouse go to make love charm or love spell on the other. You think that this spell is good, like, you have made the love spell now. They're going to love each other more. Now she's going to love me. That's haram. You're making her, you're making, you're trying to force her out of her own will. Okay? If you want her to love you or she or him, do the right thing. Be nice to them and all. They will love you naturally. Don't force someone to those kind of stuff. That's totally haram. And when they, the marabou will say, okay, bring me her beard or her mustache or whatsoever it is, and a cloth from him, and they will take that, take rope, the black one, the red one, the white one, with a needle, and they're going to wrap it, and they go to the graveyard, and they bury it there. Or they can bury it somewhere else. And then when that happens, subhanAllah, it's like your dog. You know, sit down, they sit down. Bring me food, bring me food. Don't do this, don't do this. It's like you control it. They, they're like out of their own sense now. They're totally crazy. They, they like you. You, it's like you have possessed them. So there's a gene in them. This person will be will not be having good health. They always feel sick. They always they will always be sick because when a gene is in you, you're done. Or when they through their dark energy in you to control you, you'll be sick. You know, Yamal Qiyam Allah make his up on you. So that's haram. Let nobody fool you that that's haram. It's haram. So sister, we say make dua for her and then. You know, inshallah, you know, sometimes also uh, we like to think outside the box a bit because not everything seems normal like we think. I used to be like, everything is normal. Yeah, this is normal headache. This is normal this. But as time goes on, you are in the field. The more you go, you will notice that not normally, so many things are normal as you see. Imagine I went to do Rukia somewhere. I went to do Rukia on a particular person. And the mom told me that, please, can you do Rukia on the sister? I say, oh, say why? Say, because she always complain of headache and all. I say, okay, fine. I did okay on her. The gene came. The gene is an old man. You know, how this is like my daughter, blah, blah, blah. So, so nobody, nobody will know about that. It's just a headache. People are like, yeah, I have headache. Go drink Panadol. Go drink Prastamol and all. But it's a gene, you know? And the gene's one thing also I'm going to let you know. Don't make this extreme or excessive. Just, just a bit of advice. You can give our okay audios to listen. If this is something from the shaitan, like a possession, inshallah, they will leave. So the shaitan can, can possess a very good person, like a righteous person, okay? And then they're going to make you want to do the things that they like to do. Like the, someone like who's a very good Muslim now being possessed with a jinn, and now the jinn is a kafir, doesn't want them to pray. One time they start, stop, they start hating prayer. They start listening to music. They start, I was a bit like fornicating. Some of them start drinking alcohol or smoking weed because that's what the jinn wants. That's what the shaitan wants. The shaitan want the shaitan likes smoking weed, so the person will be inclined in smoking weed. The shaitan like music, as called mismaru shaitan. The shaitan, the instrument of the devil. They like it. They like music. That's why music is haram. So they would like to put that person start listening to music and all. So what the shaitan likes is what is going to try to incline you to do. So rukia in this case is very important. The other one say, Jamiyu Tijani. Salamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. What shall I do? I have been, I have been had bad dreams, said sex dreams for many years. Will it also 
affect manhood, small and weak. I often feel some vibration on connect on connecting, vein, joining manhood and anus. Any advice and solution, please? Though I have been listening to Rukia audio for some time, but the problem still persists. Okay, Jami Tijani. This can be frequent. This can be gin, black magic, acid gin, black magic. Do you, do you know the words that a black magic gin been sent to destroy the person, end up loving the person, and the person start having all those symptoms of acid gin, rape at night, and all these things? Or the witches also sometimes, you know, the witches, they work with the gins. So they like to send gins to harm someone. You know, I have some cases whereby the witches in my rookie, I caught them. And this can be very close families to you, okay? They are witches. You will never know. They'll be waking up next to you every day, but they are doing witchcraft. It's like a knowledge of the shaitan. That's why the witch can even be cured, okay? You can do rukia on the witches, give them ground water and all these things. The spell of the jinn in them and everything will be gone and they'll be normal, fine. So the, the witches can be cured, okay? If only they want to be safe. They want to repent and stop witchcraft because it's a shaitanic knowledge. So that's why when you do Rukia, there are some verses you read and all these things. Like the normal verses we read, the ayat of Sihir Fitratullah, Hilati Fatra Nas Ali Halat Abdil al Khalaqillah, to revive them back to the end, restoration like normal beings and status. So that the knowledge can be gone and then they'll be talking the witches like, I did this, blah, blah. After that, does they can't do anything again. They cannot astral project and go in from places in like the soul is moving and all. So I have cases like that. Maybe that's for another time. In this case, brother, if this is acid gin, you know, trying to give you desire, you know, vibrating your veins and all, trying to give you desire, because sometimes they like to do that so that you start watching porn or they want to push you to fornication and all. Or they'll be vibrating you inside your veins because Adama So the shaitan will run like in the humans, like the blood circulation. Okay, like in the veins and in the blood system. So you can do the lotion method and then you lotion your private area and every part of your body. Okay, you make your adhkar, make read on the lotion or the olive oil and then rub it on your entire body. Like I mentioned previously about one of my patients that used to get raped at night, a woman, when I read on the olive oil and all, alhamdulillah, she applied on her body at that night, the gin came trying to rape her. When the gin touched her, it burns the gin so bad and uh, the gin ran away. So if the gin is trying to come at night, trying to give you desire so that you masturbate, Allah, some, they try to do that with men. They try to give them desire so that they start masturbating. Women also as well, Allah, and then some they will start getting addicted to porn and all, and they know that they hate it. So the gins can try to do that because it's desired. That's all what they want. So you can do this method, the incense method, okay? the lotion method, the Quranic bath method, and listen to Rukia this a lot. And you fight your nafs acts a lot to protect you so that you live whatever is desirable, like music, movies, porn, all these things. And you get closer to Allah. Read the Quran a lot. That will give you the nur and the light and you, you know your strength, iman and everything. And everything will be fine. Inshallah. If you can do direct Rukia method, that's fine. So that if this is in, in this gene in, in, is in you, so that when this Rukia is done, the gene can be cut and be dealt with, and then everything will be fine. So, but you can use the incense method so that the energies put in you, giving you this that vibration and all can be gone. And listen to Rukia audio as well. That is very beneficial to remove some of these dark energies in you. Keep listening and it will be gone and the gene will be tired and all. The lotion is going to protect your body, inshallah. So that if you try to come and possess you in any time, so that that can also be stopped, inshallah. So, let's let's do this again. Afo Labi or Labisi. Salamu alaikum, please. What can I do for my 15 years old boy that is bedwetting and all his siblings? Bedwetting, sometimes it can be gin, sometimes it can be sickness and all. <sighs> like mental. So what you can do is, you can try the incense method. If there is gin in the head, trying to make a mental. If it's a boy, you can try to do copying on the head. Inshallah, the hijama therapist can do that for her, for him. If it's a woman, they can make the Quranic showering, the, the Quranic rukia showering. And make the lotion for them also to apply it on the body. So that if it is a gene making them doing this, like this is a field, this is a toilet, release yourself. You know, and you wake up in the morning, you realize that 
this is not toilet. So sometimes the jeans want to play the role. So you have to treat them like you treat someone afflicted with shaitan. Okay, they'll be doing the showering, the Quranic water showering, seven leaves of the seed, they'll crush and then, you know, mixing the water and read on it the necessary verses. The links, inshallah, browse on the guru, bismillah, you might see it there. And then it is there, okay? And then the lotion method, the incense method, the rukia listening method also, the rukia audios. You can download some rukia audios from YouTube or you can just, um, my number, if you check out the post, you may see my number, send me a message on WhatsApp and I will forward the rukia audios and inshallah, they can also listen to it as well. That is very, that is very effective as well. But if this is something medical, mentally, and all, you might check with the doctors. But many a times, these things, um, jeans, they like to do it. Auzubillah. Zainab Kazim, Salamu Alaikum, Alaikum Salamatullah to all. That makes this salam. What can I do to stop eating in, in the dream? Is it either given to me by my relatives or in occasions organized by my relatives in the dream? Zainab Kazim, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you from everything that is disturbing you. Amin, Ya Rabbil Alameen. First of all, I will say when you can make the city water showering, you shower so that any kind of connection they're trying to put in you like the black magic can be destroyed. If they are witches also, it doesn't matter where they are, your family, outside the family and all, you can try the dream catching method also. Ainam, before you sleep, you make your adhkara and all, then you read Ainam with the intention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bringing you all the jinns or witches inside that is disturbing your life in the dream so that you can fight them. You see, when you do this, Allah will help you out. They can't defeat you. It's like a dua you made. You want Allah to help you. Then you can read, Aynama takunu yatibikum Allahu jami'an inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Aynama takunu yatibikum Allahu jami'an inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 148. Wherever you be, Allah will bring you all together because Allah has power over all things that he wants to do. Allah will bring them in your dream. You can try this maybe once it might not work, but you keep doing it until it works, inshallah, if there's anything disturbing your life. And then when you see them, you can hold them, read Ayatul Kursi until they die, or beat them, fight them, stab them, you know, use the sword, slaughter them and all. And when they die in the dream, real life, they're going to die, inshallah. Because in the dream, it's like a reality to them. And uh, inshallah, you can do the showering method and all these things. Because there was a time I went to somewhere, and the woman was saying that she was having subhanAllah, a lot of miscarriage and all. I said, okay, make wudu, come, let's do rukia. So when we did rukia, she was having jinn. The jinn came. Allah helped me um, cut the jinn. The jinn said that um, she, that he loved this woman and all. And then I said, okay, now tell me, how do you destroy like the pregnancy you cause in miscarriage? He said that she will, he will give, um, like he will give her food in the dream and when she eat that she will have the miscarriage because she doesn't he doesn't want her to get pregnant or they will like to come in the dream and then sleep with you so that's something also they like to do they like to come in the dream sleep with you to destroy your pregnancy so they like to do that so you make your athkar before you sleep do the dream catching so that you can catch and fight them and also make sure before you sleep anytime uh-huh make sure before you sleep anytime you um you make the lotion and then all the olive oil only if that's all what you have read on it and apply it on your body and sleep and ask Allah to protect you from the evil of all these shayatins. things and you can make the incense as well burn it and then inhale the smoke that is also very very effective as well okay that's the question for the post now let's move on to the other ones uh, this is about the post, the 10th of December. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. When I say, please, for those sending their questions through my WhatsApp. I'm, okay, good. This is something I want to talk about. Please, I'm begging you, please. Guys, I'm begging you, everybody. You know, the Rukia group is for Rukia group so that we can help one another. It is true that I'm, I can be very busy. That's why sometimes you will see me. I can't, I barely even start writing now in the group, to be honest, because I am I can be very busy or sometimes not can't even update the group somehow. So I know a lot of questions have been posted in the group and I'm trying my best. That's why I'm trying to start this rookie live video so that I can answer some of these questions in the group through the live videos and all I'll explain some things. 
Bismillah. Everything will be fine. Please, my WhatsApp. Subhanallah. I have so many purpose for my WhatsApp, but now it's like my WhatsApp is kind of becoming hijacked now. <laughs> and I don't want to change my WhatsApp. Please, when you have question, post it in the group. Because when I answer your question, somebody with the same similar question, when I answer you, can also find the answer there. Okay? So don't post questions to me in my WhatsApp or my or my inbox or Facebook. And you want me to give you a long answer, somebody is going to come again, give me the same question, and I have to go through the same long answer. Don't do that. Sometimes it really upset me, and I've been explaining about it for a long time, but it seems like some people don't really care. So that's something that I am begging. Please, if you have question in the group, post in the group. Don't post in my WhatsApp or in my inbox, okay? If you want, let's say, Rukia, live Rukia session, I do that as well. If you want that, that's what you want, you can contact me. No problem. Tell me that you want live Rukia session. That's fine. Those in the Gambia, because I am in the Gambia, I'm a Gambian, okay? If you want Rukia session, direct Rukia session, because you are in the Gambia, no problem. You can call me. If you want medicine, I also sell medicines. You can also call me, okay? That's fine. Or maybe you have something that is, you know, is confidential, private. You don't want to post in the group because of, you know, so maybe that one counseling, counseling, you can understand it. Then that one can also be posted. Or if you want the Rukia audio, then no problem. You can send me message. But don't send me a message like, hi, hello. Don't do that. Come on. If you do that, I'm going to delete it right away somehow. So don't do that. Just, you know what you want. Send the request. Salaamu Alaikum, sir. Don't even say, say, fine. Brother Muhammad, salamu alaikum, brother Muhammad. Please, I need the Rukia audio. I will forward it to you. Okay, but some will be like, hello, hi. And then you will be like, okay, even a Muslim. As-salam qabla al-qawl, you know? So you, as-salam qabla al-kalam. That's what the Arab, some, they say. Greeting before talking, before, because, before speaking with someone. You know, say, salamu alaikum at least. And you, you know what you want. Say you want the Rukia audio, and I will send it to you. But hello. And I have to be like, okay, salam alaikum, be like, I need the Rukia audio. I think that is very impolite, to be honest, somehow. And um, the way things are going, I know so are, there are some other people in the group that they don't really care. Those kind of people will be kicked out from this group. And also those coming in the group, like answering all kind of questions, who gave you that, who gave you that, um, that, that authority? So just come into someone's group like that and just start giving out answers because I'm seeing that I'm posting like, okay, you can do this. Other one will be coming. No, you can do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't shower in the toilet. That's wrong. Don't do. My friend, if you know that, why not go create your own group? Talk about what you know and leave other people. Don't come and start a fight and all these things. It's wrong totally. This is everybody's group. I agree. Alhamdulillah. This is not Brother Muhammad group only. But this group have some protocols. We're talking about Rukia. It's a very sensitive way here. We're trying to avoid those giving misinformations about Rukia and all these things. No, that's not what we're trying to entertain here. Anybody who brings answers from the Quran and Sunnah, you are highly welcome. Because nobody can go against that. But don't come in the group and try acting like you are the boss, like you are the one giving out all the answers because you're trying to contradict whatever Brother Muhammad is posting and you're trying a fight. I'm going to delete you out without even hesi being hesitant about it. Anybody find and don't recommend some, something in the group that you are not authorized for. It's not open like you can just come infuse any kind of things that you feel like you can infuse in the group that's not going to be that's not going to be allowed this group is going to be regulated okay it's going to be regulated i cannot let that happen because at the end of the day if a ring if a wrong information has been given here or something de detrimental imagine i become responsible for that so that's something also i want to i want to keep this one so the he says that is a <laughs> Barakallahu feek Muhammad Mawdula Amin Khan. May Allah reward you abundantly. Um, Salaam alaikum. For those sending their questions through my WhatsApp inbox, please send your question in the comment section so that it can be replied soon when I'm free, inshallah. Your cooperation is highly recommended and it shall be appreciated. Brother Muhammad, Rukia for all. 25 comments. And then he says that Jazakallah Khair, Sami Silva Adi Yinka. Okay. May Allah reward you too. Exactly, that's the problem. Okay, fine. 
Okay, this one says Fazi, Fazili James say it is a good idea, brother. Our question can also benefit others. I say exactly that's the purpose so that others can find the answer without asking the same question again and again. We shouldn't be selfish and only think of our own interests, etc., but to share with the people. May Allah the Almighty accept our effort and make our intentions sincere for his sake alone. Amen. So that's what needs to be done. Here, put your question here. When it's answered, others can also find benefits for it. This one says, brother, can dry citrus leaf be used just to make, just like the fresh saving green leaves used for, for Rukia? Yes. I also say yes, brother, but I encourage the people to use the fresh one if there is any, inshallah. Meaning that sometimes you don't have the fresh one. You have the dried one. Like, you know, some places, they barely have the, the, the sidri. So what happened is that they, the sidri is like being made into powder and then it is um, it is exported. So because some people buy it from the eBay or Amazon and all. So that's what they can get. Those people, yes, they can use the sidri powder. But if, it's, if, this, if, it, if it is like this, you have the dry sidri, but there's a fresh one right there. My advice is go get the fresh one, okay? Go get the fresh one. But if you can't find the fresh one, but you have the dry one or the powder one, then that's fine. You can use it. Maybe someone will ask, okay, the powder one, how much can we use? Can we estimate powders like in seven leaves? That's difficult for me, to be honest, because I don't use the powder. We have the tree here. But anyway, I tell people, okay, two pinch. I, have, I ask myself about this question. But anyway, you can use like two pinch, like one pinch, like this. Some be saying pinch like this. No, like this. One, two, maybe make it three. One, two, three. So that we can get the odd numbers, inshallah. Hmm? So you can maybe do the three pinch, inshallah. And mix in the water, read on it, and shower and drink. If you want to make a small container you want, that's fine. Okay, let me answer this question first. Salaam alaikum. Uh, Zulia Jimo says, Salaam alaikum. Can children also take rukia water for drinking and bathing? Yeah, they can They can take it too, inshallah. But give them small. Don't give them like big bottle. Like I give my normal patient, I tell them like 1.5 liter, you know, the, the bottle. Like a patient, drink it at least in a day, finish it, you know. That's fine. It's going to worse, worse the internal and everything genes inside you see here everything when you shower with this is going to burn them it's going to remove especially those having they had been compressed and they feel palpitation or the gene is trying to live here when you shower when you drink it it's going to try to force the gene to be removed from your chest and all and you will feel inner peace inshallah and especially for the ones make genes making them angry all the time they have to drink let them drink the granic water civil water a lot so that it can remove the gene, making them upset so that they can find inner peace. And for those very, very stubborn, stubborn, some stubborn genes, they like to cause someone to be very stubborn, like some kids. They are possessed with gene, but parents will know. And they start acting strange and all. They've been stubborn. They won't listen. They need root care. And then when you do root care, you will see that the gene business like will leave. Imagine a four-year-old boy. You know, I was called to do Rukia on the four years old boy. And then when I did Rukia on the four years old boy, because the boy, they told me that he's very stubborn and night you be this and that. I did Rukia on him and the gene is telling me, I'm going to leave. Okay, stop. I'm going to leave. Imagine four years old boy being possessed by a gene. He's saying, I'm going to leave. But of a grown up man. So sometimes being stubborn, there are so many things going on. SubhanAllah, caused by a gene, but many people don't know. Allah help us. That's why if you don't, the Quran is a Shifa. Use the Quran for everything. It's going to solve the problem. Please remedy for inner gota. I don't understand that, please. If you can rephrase it, um, that's something I would appreciate. Okay, let's move on to the other question. What is the use of cedar powder? Now, before that, this one say. This one say, how can I get Rukia? I am a new member here. Lately, I have been feeling headache, weakness, tightness, dizziness, sweatness. When I listen to Quran, I feel hotness inside me, fever, stomachache, and sweatness. SubhanAllah. May Allah give you shifa. That is something very serious. But I replied, I said, may 
you may need to have a direct ruqya with an aqi. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's, it's a jinn in you, breathing in you, giving you all these strange um, feelings and all. That's why the the ruqya, direct ruqya is a very effective way. Bismillah. So that if there is a jinn in you, when the raqi read on you, can catch the jinn in you and be told to leave so that you can be fine. I say you may need to have a direct ruqya with a raqi. If you have Rukia sent us over there or a rapi, you can make schedule so that Rukia can be done for you. If if it is energy in your body to be expelled, inshallah. And you can follow some of the method mentioned in the group, such as the follow or such as the link below for more information. Like the lotus, sidri leaf, rukia bad, medicine mixture for consuming, the incense method, the lotion method, the self rukia method, the Indian costus method, the Quranic recitation method. There's a fun Greek method as well. Uh, that can also be 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 be, be experience. This one says, Salam alaikum. I am new mem member based in South Africa. I have been experiencing something moving on my back. It feels cold, sometimes hot, and my back is always painful. But when I make salah, it's like it moves. I don't know what is it. Can it can Maulana help me? I'm not Maulana. Come on, <laughs> it's only Allah can help you. Sometimes the dark energy. You see, I don't know why some people. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe people don't know about dark energies, and 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 sometimes they're like, "What is he talking about the dark energy all the time? Dark energy, everything, dark energy." Yes, it's because the shaitan, in order for you to empower your system, you have to put more dark energies in you, breathe in you, so that you'll be weak. Because this dark energy is making you weak. Sometimes the shaitan can meet someone outside, and they kind of flash it in front of them. When they go home, they start feeling sick and all. It's like something has entered them, like the dark energy. So this dark energy, shaitan, blow it on you, and then go. You start having fever. Your body is hot. You can understand. It's moving. It's like an air tornado in your body from the shoulders to the back to the head to the leg you just complain today my chest my heart my today my shoulder you know my my back my tummy my head all oh, sideways today is this oh my my teeth giving you tooth age and all these things so you may want to do rukia uh inshallah first and you may want to do hijama on the spot that you are feeling it so that you can suck it out and the sidri water also you shower with it to cool off your body and remove all these things there and uh, you can try the other methods also as in the group. Um, Saki Hamza, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you shifa. Ameen, ya rabbal alameen. So even the sister that is saying about all these things, she can also do hijama. Hijama for male, hijama for male. Like if you are a male, let the male do hijama for you. If you are a woman, let the woman do hijama for you. Okay? No raki, you shouldn't do rukia. Uh, you shouldn't do hijama for a woman. The woman is how can a woman be dressed, be undressed in front of you, and you wanna do hijama for them? Fear Allah, itaqilla, itaqilla, la yajus, la yajus zalik haramun laka and tanzura bima huwa haramun alik. Fahimt? Yeah. What is the use of cedar powder? Hmm. Anyway, the use of cedar powder. Is it not the same as a city leaf if there is no leaf, fresh leaf? Yeah, we use it to shower, to remove black uh, black magic from us and to also weaken the shaitan and um, also to remove the dark energies inside us and we drink it and we feel we feel great, we feel better.